Yay. Now we're really doing it. Full heart, 70 plus. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting to it. <laughs> we, had, we had originally started, then we had to stop because Danny, uh, I don't know, we had hit a button, so we were, we were going. Tim said empty hearts or f- empty bladders, full hearts, empty bladders. And I was like, yeah, that's pretty good. Then I stole it as soon as we started. Like, wow. <laughs> <man>. <laughs> Boom. We've Fucking, been electrified. What a woo. Nothing, nothing gets people you fired up like a steam. betrayal. I, I betrayed you. I betrayed you. I betrayed you. Did you ever have a dude do that? Do you ever have a dude steal a thing like that? You know, when you maybe when you were a teenager? Oh, for sure. <laughs> Millions, hundreds, thousands of times, bro. It's Get your steam jacked? Yes. You just say something. Yo, listen, I, had a, I used to work for this guy one time. Uh, Ron Stern, you could fuck him, you could say his name, whatnot. And this motherfucker, you would say, I'd be like, uh, Ron, maybe uh, we should schedule the meeting for you know 10 instead of uh, one. And he would completely ignore me and go on about his and go on about his day to come back an hour later, like, you know what I was thinking? Maybe we should <gasps> schedule the meeting for uh, oh. 10 instead of one. And yeah. then I'd be like, Yo, I said that earlier. He'd be like, no, nah, no, nah, I thought of that when I was in the office just now. I was thinking. He would do that shit constantly. Damn. Like every he other owned day. You. Yes. That sucks. Wait, but he, and he did it to everybody. It was like he would tune you out and then just repeat exactly what you said like it was his he's idea. Got, he's got it figured out. Yeah. He's just sapping every button dry in the office and being like, I'm, yeah. s- I'm such a fucking businessman. Yeah. <laughs> my, my dad, Look yeah. at me. I used, yeah. to, I used to work for my dad when we would do demolition. He's good for that. If you're in the idea circle and you're like, what are we going to do? He'll, he'll be like, nah, nah, nah. And he'll come back 10 minutes later. And he would, he does a lot. He used to do it to my older brother and say like some yeah. variant of the idea he said. Yeah. I remember being little trying to get in the idea circle. He'd be like, Matt, we need you from the neck down, bud. Go pick up, go pick up some rock. Go pick up some rock. <laughs> we need you from the neck down. Damn. Yeah. That was something your brother said right before that. He stole it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my my first uh, my first best friend got me once. He got me good. What do you do? Yeah, my boy Kenny, R.I.P. Man, he was the man. <laughs> dude, I love this dude. Mm-hmm. I love this dude, man. <laughs> this is yeah. like uh yeah, he uh, dude, he he got shot on Christmas, whatever. Um, and that was my idea. Yeah, I was gonna get shot on Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he knew it. He knew it. I told him. I told him I was gonna die young. He knew that. Um, no, nah, but he um, we it was a pal pal basketball. And Wait, hold on. Was it the Red Rider BP gun? <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> yeah, nah. Shoot dry out, kid. Yeah. No, nah, he was uh, so pal basketball, right? Me and Kenny are walking up to Powell Basketball. We're looking at it from a distance. We're sitting on the hill. Uh-huh. We're watching these two teams play. This one team has this chick on it. And she looks like the, like the cartoon The Goof Troop came out just recently. Mm-hmm. And she looked like one of the characters from The Goof Troop. The hot, goofy lady? Not the hot one. Yeah. Like, she looked like a clumsy Goof Troop, right? Mm-hmm. And um, I, I said that to Kenny, and he lost it. Called her a Goof Troop? Yeah, I called her a Goof Troop. As we were walking up, I called her a Goof Troop. That's actually Chicago yeah. slang. You goofy? know in Chicago, if you call someone a yeah. goofy, they'll punch you in the face. Yeah, you fucking goofy. I mean, yeah, if you say a goofy, mm-hmm. that's that's like fighting terms, and that's a whole like that person's a fucking goof troop. Yeah, but that wasn't. We didn't have that over here. That in the Midwest, that's a big one. Yeah, Damn. you call someone a goofy, it's like they'll punch. I would do it all the time. I'm like, yeah, she's a goofball. Brittany be like, whoa, don't say that about me. I'm like, fucking goofball, man. It's a compliment. Mm-hmm. Come on. Isn't goofball? A I'm a lifelong goofball. Yeah, yeah it's a compliment. Yeah, 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 that yeah. was like mm-hmm. call, that's like that was like a, a serious offense, and I was like, all right, man. Well, it must goof mean ball. something. Danny, what does goof mean yeah. in the Midwest? A goof is probably child molester. I think it's a retarded. Yeah, if you call someone a goof, yeah, I was going to say in yeah. Canada, goof is a pedophile. Whoa. I think you're just whoa. calling, I think you're like basically whoa. literally whoa. calling someone whoa. slow. Whoa. Yeah. Goof? If you yeah. call someone goofy, you're like inferring they're slow. Yeah. Whereas here, it's like kind of like a lighthearted, like, yeah, he's kind of like a lovable, silly. lovable, silly. silly goof ass yeah. boy. Yeah. <laughs> goofy ass boy. <laughs> but yeah, that was yeah. something. Thanks for filling me in. Say it all the time. So me and Kenny walk up to the basketball game. Yeah. And now we're like in, like everybody, we're amongst everybody. And the chick uh, goes to get a ball. Like she goes to pick up the ball. Like it, it went out of bounds, hit the fence, and is rolling back on the court. She goes to pick up the ball, trips over her feet, and falls. And everybody pauses, like, what the fuck? And Kenny goes, that bitch looked like a goof troop. And everyone oh, lost. Oh, no. It. Yeah. Damn, bro. Yeah. I'm actually turned on by women who are extremely unathletic, though, sometimes. Girls shoot, and they're like, 
I'm always like, God damn, dude. dude I don't know why. I'm always in that way. <laughs> it's the feminine ideal in your head. I think so. Mm. Mm. Completely physically incapable. <laughs> Walking like a baby deer. <laughs> she's too hot. Dude. And she's only got those tiny little cartoon feet and ankles. <laughs> she's tripping all over herself. God damn, I'm salivating. I remember like in high school, just like fucking around, watching a girl shoot a basketball and be like, God damn. <laughs> you didn't even make the ramp. <laughs> That's so <laughs> fucking hot. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah, I mean, the further away they are from man is shit, the better. Sometimes. Until it comes time to fucking get stuff done. Mm. So, like, yeah, like change a tire? Yeah. <laughs> live a life. <laughs> yeah, once you stop making out in the movie theaters with them and saying goodbye. Like, wait, I gotta live a life with you? You gotta have some, some fucking skills. <laughs> 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 Once you stop making out in a movie theater, so yeah, it's, it used to be. You know, it's like your high school girlfriend. You just like meet them in a high school, like a movie yeah. theater, make out. And meet like, me halfway. Yeah. Throw me a, a Nerf Vortex Howler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't need a tight spiral on a regulation football, but if you can't get me a Whistler, yeah, mm. you gotta get the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. That is funny though. I've I've had. <laughs> I've only ever, in my experience, I've only ever heard black dudes trash women for like certain things they can't do, and it makes me laugh so fucking hard. Like, like what do you mean? Just like can't do X, can't Y, can't do Z. I don't know. I can't explain it. Like a bitch can't cook. Can't, yeah, the cook, cooking. Everyone's slammed that before, right? I've just heard. I I I can't remember. I'm like thinking of like can't sew, that kind of thing. Yeah, we're just like. <laughs> Like, I remember this dude's girlfriend used to, like, fuck up at her job, and it would piss him off so bad. <laughs> like, bitch, can't hold a fucking job down, man. It's embarrassing. <laughs> it would make me laugh so hard. Because he would, like, get in her ass for it. Like, what the fuck? You took off on Wednesday. <laughs> Maybe it's just one guy I'm thinking of, but it was making me laugh <laughs> so fucking hard. It's like, man, she's fucking him. It would, she, it would embarrass him. She would fuck up at her job. Like, man, it's fucking shit. That would embarrass me, too. That would be yeah, humiliating. I wouldn't that's care. embarrassing. Your wife no, sucked annoying. at her job and was, like, getting in trouble? <laughs> like, come on, dude. I wouldn't care. I'd be like, yeah, fuck that. Dude, dude right. you're spending way too much time and human resources at your fucking job. Calm the fuck down. Yeah. Get it together. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'd, just, I'd be unbothered. I'd be like, yeah, man, fuck them. She's constantly just getting fired and like carrying bo cardboard boxes full of like markers and shit. I'm like, I got fucking fired again. <laughs> My boss was being such a fucking dick. <laughs> so funny for me. Like, bitch, this is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> shit is embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, one, oh one of my exes used to always get, she used to always mix her colors up. She used to always mix up green and blue. So when she would ask for things, like if she was looking at, like when she was out shopping or something, and she would ask for the, the blue dress and it was green. And then the lady would be like, oh, you mean, oh, you, uh, you mean the, the green they one? And she'd be like, no, bitch. I know what the fuck I, I mean, said. Again, and I'm like, yo, <laughs> yo, you are completely colorblind and you, and you take it out on everybody. <laughs> It's colorblind rage. Yeah, <laughs> you take it out on everybody. <laughs> but in her, in her defense, that's the color she's seeing. Yeah, she's but like, how do you know everyone else isn't colorblind to her spectrum? Yeah, for real. <laughs> but, but actually, she, how does she know? I mean, she she should have known because everybody around her was telling her. It is consensus like, rules. Yeah. Consensus rules in terms of colors. Yeah, for sure. But if she's been, do you understand? Like, she's been seeing a color. Like, it doesn't matter what it is. That's what she's been told green is. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm, dude, me and Brittany yeah. argue about colors all the time. I'm like, that's navy blue. She's like, that's purple. And I'm like, well, let's disagree to disagree. <laughs> me and her see different colors constantly. Yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah. She, I'm more of on the colorblind Maybe side. Maybe it's a lady thing. No, I'm on I'm on where your where your ex is at. I everyone pretty much disagrees with me when I'm like, Oh, oh okay. Uh, only a couple certain yeah. shades I'll see, and I'm like, like orange and there's a couple ones I'll see that I'm like orange and brown. I'm with you. Yeah, all oh, yeah. I'm with you. This is an area of my relationship that my wife completely dominates. The color recognition. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Well, they do the made up. It's bullshit. the thing she's the most like. Hold on, let me. There's colors to interpret here. That's green. That one's red. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> well, they like memorize that mega pack of Crayola. It's like that's actually fuchsia. And I'm like, shut up, lady. There's Fuck five you. colors. Get out of my fucking Fuck face. you. Dude. Fuck you. Don't fucking do that to me. That's I mean, brown junior. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's very red. <laughs> yes, but that's a magneto. I'm like, you got a you got a bigger problem. You say magneto. magneto. Has no one ever <laughs> said, said the word magenta to you? <laughs> ah, magneto. I didn't start with that. You've never even heard that. it out loud. It's not even the color of magneto. Oh my god. <laughs> magneto. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> my brain got ahead of me on that. My brain was ahead of me. Yeah. I've heard of magenta, but I was like, you know, fucking magenta. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a crayon looking for vengeance. 
<laughs> magenta, by the way, magenta is just red plus. Yeah, yeah. dude, it's fucking. Yeah, they can get the. We don't need a word red, for it. Red with brown, right? Brownish red, something like that. Man. Yeah, or red with purple. That's where I get. Yeah, is that purple? Exactly. I'm like, that's purple. Fuck magenta. Now actually, that's uh, that's magneta. <laughs> yeah. Wow, man. <laughs> now, nah, but you, you got a bigger problem if you mixing up like black and yellow. That's it. Now that's that's a brain defect. You have full dog vision. Yeah, yeah no, that's like what the vision. fuck is wrong with you, bro? Yeah, that's you know a, that's a hue issue at that point. Yeah, I can hang, those yeah. guys are all in prison. Yeah, <laughs> those <laughs> guys sure. aren't out with the general public. All right. I mean, they're living in like a fucking. Um, living in like all, virtual why, why are all the flowers black? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, they about, think bro? we're pretending to enjoy the world. <laughs> like, yeah, they think yeah. We're lying to them. They think we're trying to psy off them. They're all <laughs> Truman Show. Yeah, your life looks like a fucking interdimensional prison. Yeah, bro. And people are just mad at you all the time. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's kind of old. for not accepting how beautiful the world is. Tell me, mm. did you ever did you ever play Virtual Boy? Yeah, it's that. It's just like red lines, and you're just like, this is fucking giving me a headache. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah that man. sucks, man. Being that Those colorblind, guys, there's no way there's anyone that colorblind though, right? Danny, look it's up the worst. Thing. Uh, that I would stab be. my eyes out. There's some, there is somebody that colorblind, and there's somebody who sees literally every color. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm. That's unbreakable, Mister Glass. There's always that. Yeah, I feel like yeah, I feel like energetic True. Uber drivers probably see every single color. So if you're getting like an Uber driver and he's just like blasting techno and he's like just pointing, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm always jealous of those yeah. dudes who are just fucking like yeah, my, at my that friend, you're my hearing friend, color. My yeah, man, where are you going? You going to the bar today? <laughs> yeah, go. Oh, oh man, I love that place. Yeah, no, I'm still in school, man. <laughs> it's the most vague ethnicity possible. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, yeah, so fuck. colorblindness is a spectrum, and there are people that can only see black, white, and shades of gray. Oh, they call called monochromatic colorblind? Damn. Uh, it's called ac acromatopsia. Mm. Fuck. That's a disease. Well, so what would you that rather? Would you, would you rather have the like the utmost color blindness, or be one of those people that can't picture <coughs> stuff in their heads? Bless you. That's another disease. Ooh. There's a disease of people who can't mentally picture things in their heads. I they love can't mentally picture. Oh, yeah, that's my damn. favorite thing to do. But I use colors to do it though. I mean, you're talking nothing, bro. Black and yeah. white movies or no movies. They just mm. see stuff all day and have thoughts and lay down and close their eyes. That's that. Yeah, I got to be able to picture things. I I have to. They can't do it. Yeah, but you would have to picture things not in color, Naeem. Uh, I mean, well, I can get used to that. I can, I can get used to it. That's fine. All yeah. noir? You don't need, you don't need <laughs> color. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, had, I had a very uh, hallucinatory daydream during my fever this week, by the way. What? I was laying on my couch, and I daydreamed that one of my teeth fell out. Mm. And it was so vivid that hours later, I like I panicked and ran to the bathroom thinking that I didn't have a tooth in my mouth. Ooh. And I, it was the realest. It was the realest thing ever. Did you I, feel it? Pop I had out? The, I had the physical sensation of the tooth breaking in half and falling out of Ugh. the mouth. Damn! What the fuck? Fully, For, fully right? visually realized. Did you, oh was God. it contextualized? Was it the reason it broke? Like when you, when it was happening? Yeah, because I damaged it eating it uh, a couple weeks ago. Mm. And I need to go to the dentist. But I had. You weren't asleep. You're just kind of zoned like on, a samurai. Fever. Cut it real I, quick, it, and like next yeah, week, yeah. Like I don't know. I might, I might have. I might have dipped. I might have had like a afternoon nap. I was on a lot of medicine and like yeah, I said, yeah, I hear you're saying. ripping a fever. And I, there was other ones too. I had a, I had a very vivid dream right after that that uh, I, I, I don't know, my my entire this all ended. It was crazy. I had a very foreboding dream that this was all over. What happened? What? What did you see? I can't remember. I think it was just like the the conclusion was like, okay, that's enough time trying all that stuff. It has to end now. Like someone made the call that this was just going to stop. Damn. And I was just like, that felt entirely. It was so My real that it spun me out sank. for days. Holy shit, dude! I don't like hearing that. I haven't. No, Bro. you have to. You have to fucking. Yeah. You have to Jeez, confront it. Uh, a, I just did. A two, <laughs> dude. A, a, like at least two or three days of like just maxed out fever, just like yeah. sweating under blankets. And just wow. having like extremely vivid scenarios play out that like you, oh man, it's pretty. Sick. Anyway, so yeah, I'd, I'd probably give that up for a little bit if I had to choose between that and. Oh, not an well. option. <laughs> it was not an option. Tim, you got to keep that. <laughs> I think about trading that in for a little while. Maybe putting that yeah, ability yeah. on the shelf. I'll take a little bit of black and white vision. Yeah, mm. true. To take away, uh, to go black and white vision. But what you're saying no. You okay? So not to not. Have, but black yeah, and white. So vision he doesn't want to picture things anymore. Yeah, you don't want to picture things in your head. Damn, yeah. bro. I didn't. Yeah, I, I didn't even break. consider the you're bad gonna see, you're, things. You're gonna I be picture. able to see in color at least. You're gonna have all your colors. You just can't yeah. see anything in your head. I I love, 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 love having dreams. 
my mm-hmm. favorite. I get a bad thing where I feel like I'll, it's not deja vu, but like I'll be remembering my dream, mm-hmm. and I, but I kind of don't remember it, but the, the memory is like forcing itself into my awareness, but doesn't quite make it. I feel yeah, like I, hate I, that. I, I, I can recall that sensation all the way back to childhood. Mm-hmm. I don't like dreams. I love them. I say, I say, get that out of my face. I'm trying to sleep. Like, that's not my real life. <laughs> yeah. That's not my real yeah. life. Yeah. Leave me alone, dude. Wake me up. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather wake up well rested and dreamless than like, oh, what does this I, represent? I had a dream. <laughs> I had a dream similar to your, not, it, it kind of like, it was about like everyone I know who does podcasts. And we all like met in this area on this live stream event, but we all started doing gay stuff together. <laughs> Yo, you had a gay the dream. Yo. That's my biggest fear. That's how you know you really gay. You gay, bro. But the worst part, the worst part was it was like that was like, man, why the fuck did I do that? And then I was just checking my phone and I seen how many views it got. It was going up, and I was like, no, man, please fucking don't. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> it was so funny. What the fuck? Yeah, that dude, represents gay dreams podcasting. Gay dreams are sick. <laughs> what? Yeah, I remember just being like, man, that sucks. And I, it was like so realistic. I woke up going like, fuck, dude. And I was like, that's a dream. <laughs> fucking God. What the fuck? I'm still straight as fuck. <laughs> For now. <laughs> yeah. I was like making out with Ryan Shader. <laughs> Like the, the, the most aggressive of men. Yo. It was Dude, you took gay to the limit. Holy this shit. This is earth shattering. Dude. Well, we were, we were doing, no, we were, it was like a. It was, here's what happened though. We were doing like a demolition derby type thing. It was so sick. And I think a gay Shader demolition put, derby. I think Shader put the moves on me, if I'm being honest, dude. I don't want to, you guys just got caught up in the passion of, der, of demolition derby. Demolition derby. Dude, are you talking about thing. a gay mosh pit? Here's the thing. I really don't remember who was doing it. It was like, it wasn't that clear. But I do, for some reason, wake up, remember waking up being like, I have a dream I made out with Ryan Shane. <laughs> and then all the Philadelphia podcasters were doing gay stuff, and it all went on the internet, and I went, fuck, man. <laughs> so there was no, no like, clear visuals, visual memory, but I woke up being like, there's a video of me doing gay stuff online. I was like, <laughs> yeah. And I was like, no, that's not a real thing. Thank yeah, God. two dudes at a demolition <laughs> derby is very romantic. I've had two gay dreams in my life. That was the second gay dream I've had. <laughs> you <laughs> what? Dude, they can come for you. They yeah. can come for you. You can't Damn. control what you dream. Yeah. yeah I'm, not, I'm in the, by no means in the business of fighting from my true my true life force source. What I dream about, I honor and respect it, but I go, what the fuck was I that? Had, I had yeah. one gay-ish dream, and I, I fucking woke up immediately. It was terrifying. It was, it was like somebody, it was because it was somebody I knew. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. You pause, you pause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please tell me it was Ryan Chainer. (laughs) (laughs) I wish. I wish. It will be next time. Now, I respect the symbolic power of the dream realm. You just have to fully get into it and be like, what the fuck's going on here? Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, but yeah, it was, a, it was a gay dream. I don't, you know, look, I'm not responsible for what happens. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you you can't control it. My The earliest dream I remember was uh right after my grandma died, so I probably was five or six. And in the dream, she walked into my mom's house, and then she cut her head off, and she chased me around the house with it. Damn. That's like the, that was my earliest dream. Not a nightmare? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> dreams is night, they, and nightmares is the same thing. I don't want to one up you, Matt, but I had a way gayer dream. What'd you have? I butt fucked one of my black friends in high school. Did wow. You know? What the fuck, yo? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Never thought about, never considered what it meant. I was just like, that was the weirdest dream I've ever had. <laughs> You called it weird. It's just fun. Your mind's having fun. Sorry about that, buddy. Your mind's just having fun. Hope he never yeah. finds out about that. Hope he didn't feel that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't enjoy it. Yo, I was just like, what the hell? Who you picked this dream? Who the dude. fuck? Who's, who's at the control box on this one? <laughs> Pull, who's pulling the levers on this one that I end up <laughs> fucking my buddy's butt? Well, dude, Sigmund Freud got real into that, uh, into like... You know, dreams, obviously, and all that stuff. And him and all of his boys arrived at the point that they were all, like, subconsciously gay. And they had to, like, be like, dude, I think I'm dealing with my subconsciously gay feelings right now. They write each other like Imagine the peer review papers that were like, no, you are. (laughs) Big headline. (laughs) Nah, actually, that's you, dude. I'm not fucking gay. (laughs) Me and my university are all straight. (laughs) <laughs> Miss like, me with that fucking gay it'd be, shit. It'd be like infantile. They'd be like, be like, I don't know. I think my infantile homoerotic energy has been acting up these last two weeks. I'm sorry for that's, that's what happens when you get addicted to thinking. You come up with shit like 
that. <laughs> yeah, that's why you don't think. <laughs> Knock it off. Just writing yeah. your boy a letter. And be like, I think at a microscopically subconscious level, I was so turned on by you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah. completely outside of my own awareness. AKA Chubbs are us. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I haven't responded to your letter. <laughs> Yeah, it is jobs are us. But yeah, that shit yeah. is so funny. Just like having like three of the most serious dudes just being like, let's all meet and talk about our gay feelings. <laughs> <laughs> our subconscious gay feelings. <laughs> that was, but, but do you think that was the invention of feelings for bros? Uh, he was, I think it was the start of it. He came out and was like, your kids are horny. And everyone was like, dude, shut the fuck up, man. He's like, sorry, it's the truth. Your kids are horny as fuck. From the time they're babies. <laughs> <laughs> From the time they're babies, your kids are fucking charged up, horny, trying to smash. But that's true. That's not a lie. It is true. It's kind of true. That is very true. But he had to drop it on people when like you weren't even supposed to talk about like sex like between married people. Yeah. It, right. it wasn't even cool to talk about. It. He's like, Oh yeah? Your kids are fucking horny and your kids want to fuck their mom. <laughs> like, God damn it, dude. You jerk. <laughs> yeah, pretty Man. fucked up. Yeah, it's fucked up. Pretty bad stuff. But you know, is it fucked up? I mean, come on. Yeah, I mean, well, it's fucked up to be the guy to study it. Like, obviously, it's knowledge that has to exist in some way, but to be the guy that's like, I got to get to the bottom of this, it's like, shut up, dude. Yeah, well, his whole thing was like, dude, there's a whole (laughs) part of our minds that are completely outside of our awareness and our control. And people were Mm -hmm. like, nah. -uh." And then slowly people were like, yeah, you might be onto something with that, brother. What does that mean? What part? What's outside of our awareness and control? Animal instincts. Okay. Basically, animal instincts. That's what he calls the id. And then there's. The super ego, which is like the society you live in, kind of determines like what's acceptable, and what's not. And then you have your egos, like your conscious awareness that tries to like mitigate between those two opposing forces. Mm. Yeah, but he just scientifically found a way that people didn't have to be accountable for the shit they did. No, he no, nah, because then when you flip up and like when you flip out and like fuck somebody up, it's like, no, that wasn't you. No, it wasn't about no, no, it wasn't about that because the whole their whole point was trying to like make all that stuff into your awareness so you didn't just like one day break down and freak the fuck out. Mm. So they, it, was, it was supposed to be like, because when there's too much pressure between it, like when those two forces are like, like when all of your weird animal tendencies are outside of your awareness, then you start getting these weird neurotic like tics and anxieties and like body pains and stuff. It's just like, bro, you're just fucking gay. And like, oh, my headache went away. <laughs> it's like, bro, let me tell you, you're gay and you want to bone your mom. That's the only person you're not, you're not you break your gayness for is to bone your mom. And they're like, <laughs> <laughs> suddenly the fear of death. Well, he's, yeah, so he, uh, that's what he was up to. And people were like, well, I don't know about this. Mm. Pretty tight. Yeah. But it's also, you're just giving them something worse to think about. Yeah, that's that's his uh like if you if you like if you're if you're if you're fucked up about death and then somebody's like actually you're gay, it's like, oh I'm fucked up about now. <laughs> <laughs> he does have a quote where he's like his whole thing was to prepare people for like normal human misery. He's like, I just yeah. want people to I wanna let you be a normal uh, miserable human, not like a wildly erratic miserable human. He was a pessimistic fellow. Mm. He was doing cocaine. He, just, he did coke and discovered a part of his mind he didn't know existed and was like, what the fuck? I'm so fucking gay, dude. I'm so fucking gay. <laughs> yo, see, and that's the, that's the problem. And that's, a, that's what everybody does, yo. They fucking, they discover the darkness of reality and it scares them. So then they want to scare everybody the fuck else. And then, but then here's the thing. You really the man if you discover the darkness of reality and then you can be like, you know what? I dealt with the fear of that. I'm past that and I'm happy as fuck. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, he, they could have been like, it's all sunshine. That's what we're shooting for. They yeah, yeah been like, what, what's the matter, Dad? Nothing. And just leave a whole fucking branch of psychology just <laughs> gone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Here, catch the ball. <laughs> yeah, or more so, what's, what's wrong, Dad? Everything. And you know what? That's beautiful. You feel me? <laughs> it's all ugly, but that's beautiful. You throw the ball as fast as you can at them. Hell yeah. <laughs> Get ready. It's going to be your life. Yeah. You missed it? Yeah. Hell yeah. You got you to gotta <laughs> fucking hit your kids in the face with reality. What do you do? Shit. Put them in a... Make them spar. Make them fight each other? Fight, fight, fight you, each other. At a, very, at a yeah. very young age, throw them in a fucking ring somewhere and be like, all right, fight this other yeah. kid. Fight this stranger kid. Yeah, I had to do that with Lucy when we were living in the hood. She'd have like a problem with like kids on the block. And I'd be like, okay, I can come address this for you, but would you like to take a crack at it yourself? Yeah. And every mm-hmm. time she was like, okay, I'm going to go try. And what would she do? Like, 
I don't know, just like shake a kid down, tell him, tell him something very specific to never do again, or like yeah, yeah. threaten somebody. And I nice. stand at the door. This is total white trash stuff. Yeah, you, you stand at the door and you look down the block and you go, okay, she's good. Yeah. <laughs> she told that little motherfucker, what's up? Uh, I guess he won't use those words around her again, or he man, won't yeah. like you know push kids. Yeah, that's pretty sick. But every time I was just like, oh my god, dude, what is she so nervous right now? What is she so yeah. scared? What if this kid does something unexpected? I mean, was there a party? Like, what if I have to run down and just fucking squash a kid's head? Or were you just like that came down with like parents sometimes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're yeah. I had some very uncomfortable conversations with other parents about like what your kids can and can't do. Yeah. And they would just look at me like I was crazy. Like they're kids. I don't know what you want me to tell them. I was like, it's, what the fuck? Yeah. Tell them that's not how you treat girls. Tell them tell them to show a little bit of respect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they were just be like, okay. Damn. Oh, they're going to be like, kids will be kids? Yeah. They were like, kids will be kids, but like. That is a, that's a sick parenting I'll philosophy, like, though. I'll be like, dude, they're kids. I'll be like, Yo, what do you, you want me to do? Your, son, your, son, <laughs> all right. your sons are yeah. trying to grab little girls' butts. Yeah. And they would beat the fuck out of the sons. And then, like, keep them in the house for another week. And be like, okay, when you let them back out, they're going to be freaks again. Yeah. You have yeah. to you have to change your pattern, please. To explain to them. Damn. Or don't even bother letting them out. They're, sure. they're yeah. goblins. They're yeah. not even real. They're not socialized. They're not even Wait, real people. Y'all, but, y'all, bro, did, that's y'all like, didn't used that's, to do that when y'all was kids? I used to do that. Y'all didn't, what, y'all didn't shamefully, grab butts? I, uh, yeah, I thought it was cool. Guys in my school, yeah. the older kids used to grab tits. And I was like, yeah, when yeah, I, was, right. I was in, like, fourth grade. And I was like, I didn't know you could grab girls' tits. Well, I found out in eighth grade you're not allowed to do that, but yeah. <laughs> I told Lucy no one's allowed to do that to you. Then you're right. What, it's weapons free. It's go. go you're ahead. totally oh, right. For sure. Yeah. yeah you're totally cool right. I used to see the I used to see the eighth graders grab like the eighth grade girls' tits and I was like, what the fuck? You can just grab girls' tits? I'm like, yeah, dude. No way. I was like, what? Fuck around like that. Yeah, no, it's very bad. Yeah, that was very, very bad. But yeah, at my school it was like the cool thing to do. Yeah. I grabbed I grabbed the butt a couple times and then this chick named Shanda started grabbing my butt. She was like six feet tall and like Sixth grade, man. She was huge. Start grabbing your ass. She started. She started like every time she saw me in the hallway, she would get me, and then she was on my. She would like. She switched buses sometimes to fuck with me. Damn, it, dude. And it was you like, had a sexual bully in high school. I did. Yeah. I had a sexual bully. She was. Du- she was, was double like, palming. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> she was dog. Lame. Like you wouldn't believe doing picking shit you up by your cheeks. Did she have a deep hand. voice? What's yes. up, Scotty? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me see your cheeks, Scotty. Yeah. You better get over here. And let me grab yeah. your. Yeah, she go rub like, me yeah. my yes. cheeks, yes. Scotty. It was all that. She top bunk, and I had to just put you on the top bunk. I had to fucking take it mm-hmm. because and also because oh, no. she would do it in front of people. So if I uh, she put me in a I was in a double fucking um I was I was fucked up catch twenty two because if I if I fought it too hard yeah then I kind of look gay yeah you know what I mean mm-hmm. so it's just like if I didn't if I didn't like you know fight it a little bit uh-huh. then I was her bitch but I knew it had to happen. <laughs> Dude, she knocked somebody out. She she one punch knocked out. She hit him in the butt hard. So hard. <laughs> Dude, can, oh. you get, can you get knocked out from getting hit in the ass? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a fair point. I bet you there's a hard enough or a yeah. direct enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can point. jostle a head if you hit the middle hard enough. Girl, you're, you're mm. You go back yeah. and pinch your brainstem. Honestly, dude, if you get if you get your butthole tapped, if you get like someone sharking you or like. God forbid if you're bent over to tie your shoes and someone <laughs> knees you in the ass. Oh yeah, you're if done. you get if you get hit on the button, dude, it does feel like a stun grenade went off in your entire oh. pelvis. Everything tingles. You are done. Yeah, I was like, it's, it's your ears going, boo, but it's your, like your balls and penis. <laughs> I, I, actually, like, I, laughed, I laughed about this literally last night about uh, because I started thinking about like I'd go to like like years ago I'd go to like parties with like like. Like Brittany would find friends at like you know whatever we go to like parties people I didn't know and I always was so anxious like enter like conversation circles <laughs> and I kept thinking like what was I really worried like at a deep level what was I worried was gonna happen because the guy Stutz talks about how like you have a version of yourself you're v- deeply embarrassed of and usually it's like when you're a kid and I was laughing thinking about like what I actually was fearing at a conversation circle was being hey guys and they turn around and start giving me dead legs and calling me a faggot. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up, you fucking faggot. Dead legs, Charlie horses. I'm like, wow, fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to fucking pants me and knock me over and give me Indian burns on my arm. <laughs> like, dude, if that happened. Like, spell I cup. <laughs> if that happened, it would be so funny, dude. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? They're like, shut up, fag. Punch yeah. you in the arm. Every, like, oh, every conversation circles, potential cousins. <laughs> I know, I know. That's what I saw. <laughs> it made me giggle yesterday. 
Well, that's hilarious. I wonder what my actual fear of that is. Oh, man. Oh, mine is, uh, uh, you start talking and they hit you with it. Yo, the fuck is he talking about? Yo, oh, yeah, the fuck damn. is you on? Like, yo, yo, who is, yo, who man is that? A bomb. Yo, who is, yeah. who told, yo, who told him to come here? That's oh, my, God. Who man's That's my this? biggest fear. You're, you're, you're afraid of who man's, man's is this? That's my biggest joke. <laughs> <laughs> yo, who man's, <laughs> yo, who, man is, yo, who brought him here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, where he from? Yeah, that's where my, fuck, yo, where, where the fuck from? is this bull from? Oh, yo. Where he from? Where they talk like that? Right. Like, this nigga over here talking about outer space and shit. What's wrong with it? <laughs> what do you mean? What kind of robot legs would I have? <laughs> Who did you come here with? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have breached a couple of those. It instantly be like, oh, I don't want to be part of this conversation at all. Now you have the you have the exit anxiety. We're like, how do I get out of this now? I feel like most of the time those circles, though, are just like people talking about dealing with contractors or like remodeling a kitchen and just saying like, <laughs> oh, but did you did you go with the 305? Yeah, all right. Well, because I went from 220 to 305 and it's just like, oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You breach one. You gather, you gather up all your grit and you breach one and go, oh, man, I don't want to talk about any of this stuff. You have to yeah. go, <sighs> yep. I didn't think being part of one of these would be an anxiety inducing either. And you're like, yeah. mm-hmm. hey, I gotta go. That's why having kids is so nice. You can just watch your kid and be like, oh, my, God, my, fucking kid. my kids are doing stuff. Yeah, walk right off. I was in a conversation circle on New Year's Eve and I completely embarrassed myself. Did I talk about this no. already? <laughs> when we were at Frank's house? No. I must have talked about it. If I, I talked about it to someone, no, I was so sorry. About it to, I mean, we, so, go, go. But we we're, we were standing in their kitchen and dude, this is the most social I've ever been in my entire life. Just like, a, bo- a bunch of families getting together so that the kids can celebrate New Year's Eve like slightly earlier in the evening. Yeah. And the grown-ups are in the kitchen drinking brewskis, having a good time, having a laugh. And uh, <laughs> the the first time I bombed was uh, they like they they know about the stuff we do. And this guy Frank, who's like kind of a straight laced guy, but still very friendly and nice, he's like, "Hey, how did that uh, how did that like Christmas Eve show go?" And I was just like, "Oh, it's humiliating that just like people know." Like meeting people who I know I am makes me feel like insane, like a squirrel almost. And yeah. I'm just like talking in like the way I would talk to you about it. And they're just like, cool. <laughs> like everyone, <laughs> no one else knows what to make of it. And I was like, all right, that sucked. <laughs> so I work, I, you know, I, I'm, well, I'm, I, dude, I was, I was, I'm I was feeling like a total this, freak. And I was like, why is he telling? I know, dude. I told, them, <laughs> get that. I told them the wrong casting. part. Yeah. And then, uh, what well, also freaks people if you were talking about people recognizing you for a thing you do. That'll set. That can set bells off in people too. Yeah, they, but you think yeah. they're thinking you're a weirdo, but they're going like, they couldn't yeah. hear the also appreciation in his voice because they don't know that. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm saying I mean? it's such an alien concept. Yeah. You're hitting buttons. You're touching. Yeah. You're hitting buttons on people. Again, they're not. They're buttons yeah. you don't need to actually worry about in real life. But there's people who like that'll set something off. Yeah. Right. So it's a mix. It's a combination. I don't know. It's a combination of that and then like kind of getting laughs when we're talking about like all of our kids and stuff like that. Right. Yeah. And then another conversation comes up later, and it's about how uh, Frank was in um, Vegas for a tech conference, and it was at the same time as the the AVNs, the the porn awards. Nice. <laughs> and yeah, and he's telling a story about like, and I'm on the elevator with my the director of my team, and there's one of these girls in there, and she's wearing like nothing, and everyone's like, whoa. Yeah, that's an office story. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, man, I've done a lot of podcasts with those ladies. They are pretty much all just brain damage and addicted to drugs, and they're like, okay, okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the fuck. <laughs> Yeah, because you're not, they're supposed to be completely like an alien force. And just like, okay. Mm-hmm. But meanwhile, though, these guys are like, fuck, Tim, come on, dude, get oh, it together. So brain dead and addicted to drugs. Yeah, but Damn, the reality bro. of the situation is a lot of that is just like a, yeah. like a, fr- those dudes are hunched over the laptop just fucking, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I saw a porn star in the elevator. <laughs> oh, it's like, dude, you yeah, act but, like you didn't see her, the diameter of her butthole fucking two days yeah. before that. But this, this guy, you watch the guy with the mustache spit into her butthole. <laughs> yeah. Shut up, yeah. knock it off. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. He left out the party, went into his hotel room, and just furiously rubbed them out. <laughs> <laughs> Found all of her videos. Yeah. Oh yeah, he dude. came home from that trip with his bird in a sling, <laughs> <laughs> like like a Civil War vet. <laughs> Slipped back with a cane. <laughs> <laughs> he had gray hair. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I dude. Yeah, a lot I, of I brave suffered. men jerked off that night. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> That's a haunted hotel floor now. <laughs> they can do ghost tours of it. <laughs> oh. oh my god! <laughs> they all went back to like the meeting the next day. We're like, as the battle of Getty's bird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they had some tough Zoom calls the next oh, morning. I bet. <laughs> Like uh, All right. third mark, it's the th- second quarter, not the third. He's like, "Fuck, <laughs> I've used up all my fucking powers." <laughs> uh, I'm confused. The uh, the numbers on this slide seem to be from last quarter. Uh, what's going on over there? <gasps> oh, <laughs> fuck! Did I use up all my cum last night? <laughs> no, I can't think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, dude. Yeah, I I've always suffered, man, going to those things. Right? I'm like, okay, I'm around normal people. We talk about normal stuff, and I'm just like, yeah, and I've fallen on my face in two seconds. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I get hit with the doubles. They're like, oh, have you tried these? I'm like, oh, I can't have them. Brittany's like, Matt has a gluten allergy. I'm like, shut up, Brittany. Get the fuck up. Yeah. Tell these people this. Like, oh, oh, my, my nephew has one. Literally every yeah. time. I'm cool. <laughs> And then the person freaks out. I didn't make anything. I'm like, it's fine. I don't care. Oh my god, I wish I knew. Dude, it's just like it's a fucking spotlight that's burning. Could you imagine if you called ahead to like family gatherings and like uh, Matthew has a gluten allergy? Um, well, that's the thing. You know, this is honestly, I I deeply love Brittany for this. She's always trying to take care of me in that capacity, and I'm always like, Brittany, what the fuck are you doing? Shut the fuck up. Yeah. Don't fucking call your aunt and tell her to make me a special <laughs> dish. Yeah, that because mm-hmm. you're you're talking about black people because she's basically telling people you're a little bit gay. I know a gluten allergy. Yeah, dude. We don't fuck with gluten allergies. Like that, they're coming. That doesn't they're exist. coming. They're coming. They've been hitting the Jamaicans. I've noticed, dude. They're gonna just have gluten a allergies. Have been hitting the Jamaicans, and they're coming for the black community, the American black community. Yeah, we're gonna. That's gonna start weeding. Them Damn, out. where does that come from? We're gonna lose them. It's I. It's Irish. Like it most. It's mostly Irish stuff. It's Irish AIDS. Celiac <laughs> <laughs> is Irish HIV. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like a way your body. It's coming for everybody. Because they keep fucking... I mean, I want to put my issues on the world, but... You're talking about the poison diet that's kind of slowly changing our... Uh, yeah, like drench, yeah, drenching the... Immune uh, systems and... Drenching our staple crops with, like, millions of pounds of insecticides makes, I think, more and more people allergic to it. Mm. Also, the, the the plants, like, mutate, too. You, get, you start doing all this breeding and breeding and breeding, and, like, if, oh, yeah. the, the, if the technology advances, like, kind of too fast, then the, your, your like, certain digestive systems just aren't on that track yet. So. <laughs> just like all the wheat is retarded now. Pretty much. I didn't want to say it, but yeah, it's inbred Damn. wheat. <laughs> Dude. Dude, you know, like again, corn's not like a real plant. It's the hills have wheat. It's not. <laughs> corn's like some weird fucked up plant that your body doesn't really digest. Yeah, it just like cleanses you. <laughs> it like scrapes stuff out of you. I don't like it. I don't like something passing through me like that and not get digested. Yeah, and, and it's still yeah, not giving me any energy. Yeah, yeah. It's Fuck you, dude. Free ride. No free ride. ride. <laughs> yeah, literally <laughs> lost me calories. You don't like your shit coming out ribbed. <laughs> If I see corn in my shit, I get I get like unsettled and it bothers. Yeah. I get like deeply unsettled. Like, how did I let that slip through? Yeah, like what the fuck, man? The f- <laughs> you didn't, this thing didn't get mashed up into nutrients. I just chewed that thing for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> Although I don't think I ever chewed a kernel of corn in my life. Now that just going off of my scat, I think I've only, <laughs> <laughs> I think I've only ever swallowed whole corn. <laughs> yeah. No, look, that's that's the weird thing about it. You'll chew yeah. the, you'll chew the corn and it comes out whole. I think I you <laughs> chew it and then it, it somehow it comes out back intact. It regenerates. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Hot dogs do that when you throw them up. <laughs> they come back, Teddy Google that, yeah. dude. They come back up more whole than when you like. You can chew them. I, I'm telling you. Yeah, they're like really? Stretch Armstrong. Yeah, dude. it's insane. I've never thrown up a hot throwing up a hot dog is a fucking badge of honor, dude. No, it's so yeah, dude, it ruined hot dogs for me for like ten years. Really? I told my parents, I said, I'm full, I don't want to eat anymore. And they were like, You better finish that boiled hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> and I finished it and I puked and I couldn't eat hot <coughs> PTSD. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I ugh, man. We're yeah, back man. on now though. You know I've never liked hot dogs my whole life. Mm. I was a you burger man, man. You show me yeah, a burger. Me Why the fuck would I eat a dog, dude? <laughs> right, yeah. Fuck that's, a fuck a hot dog. That's what I'm saying. I eat both and get very ill. I threw up a hot dog on the seesaw when I was a kid before. How was that? Oh, it was it was horrible. <laughs> it was because I I couldn't I couldn't get up off. Coming you down? know, as Naeem was resisting saying we, and he got <laughs> sick from it. <laughs> I ain't never said we. <laughs> <laughs> never in my life. <laughs> so you puked on it. Yeah, I fucking threw the. Were fuck you at up. the top or the bottom? Both. Like I, I uh, it started as I was going up, then oh, I came down, still uh, throwing 
Oh, then I was man. trying to tell someone was like, "Whose man is this, dude?" Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, who the fuck is Bull? <laughs> you know, growing up on the jewel. What's up with him? <laughs> He's a fucking idiot. Growing up on the seesaw, it's crazy. He, he on the seesaw throwing up. Wait, was it on the seesaw? Or did you look off to a side? No, I was on it, and then I was trying to tell him. To, it was like. It was like uh at like a picnic where like all my family. So it so was like, it was my, like it was my cousins back down and shit. Onto you, the, the throw yeah, like, like it was going, yeah, yo, that shit was that shit was on my back. You know what's making this so funny is imagining just a kindergartner but with Naeem's head, <laughs> like, sitting across from him on the seesaw. Like I ain't feeling so good. Yeah, dog, you <laughs> created yeah. like a vomit ecosystem. Yeah, That's yo. Insane. Then my cousins thought it was funny, so they started like. Pushing the other side down even more. Yeah, about to say, yeah, so, yeah, so I couldn't get off. Yeah, <laughs> going on a like, seesaw. Yeah, up. when you're younger, going on a seesaw with an older cousin is like a terrifying endeavor. Yeah, Just oh hell yeah, seesaw as hard as I can. That drop, the top, like when they let you go from the top, the yeah. drop. Yeah, you're yeah. a little kid. Your feet are yeah. like. That far off the ground, you're just at their mercy. Completely. Yeah, because they would. Yeah. My, my cousins, they wouldn't let you. They wouldn't put you down unless you put your feet cross your feet. So you would have to like try to uncross and catch it. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it sucks. And they can do that whole thing where they just jump off and you come flying down. It's yeah, bullshit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I mean, you end up. Yeah, you end up just having to bite the bullet and jump off. Remember jumping yeah. off the swings? Oh, like oh hell to get yeah, that was the shit. Jump off the swings. Yeah, it was so fucking fun. Dude, I that was my that was my daredevil phase. I used to jump off swings over bikes, and then like every time you clear it, you would move the bike back further. And then, uh, yeah, that's how I broke my wrist. <laughs> 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 yeah, I caught that. Like, listen, I was I was out there in no man's land. I was the only one out here jumping bikes at this point. Yeah, it's you know pretty what I mean? tight. And it was like it was like everybody every time. Playing I the bike downs in Annie Ump. Do you hit that fucking that gear chain thing or whatever? Yeah. That'll fuck you up. These were standing. Hell yeah. These are. Kickstand. Yeah, it's like landing really? on a bear trap. Oh, yeah. shit. Okay. You go sideways yeah. into a bike, feet yeah, first, dude. you're stepping in a bear trap. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, fuck. So you're putting the kickstand, popping Yeah, pop. standing bikes, and we're like clearing them. And like keep moving it back. And it was like, dude, I was I was like, basically we're like, we don't even know what a record is, but like we yeah. know how, like this is, like, this seems like the human limit. You had a frontier, yeah, you had a yeah. human frontier. So we put it at the human limit, and I was just going to go for it. And my plan was if I, if I fucked up too much, I was going to straddle the bike and just like push it over. But I was almost both like Nicholas Cage, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you have you have to have a failure plan if you're a daredevil. You were gonna land on your nuts if you failed. But I was gonna also push it over so I didn't land on my nuts. Oh, I thought you were trying to ride it. I thought you were gonna land on not, ride. Not, not, just like take off on it. Sorry. I thought you said my failure plan was to <laughs> no, land on it and pedal away. I was like, yeah. dude, <laughs> you don't get the chill zone fucking <laughs> thrown at you, dude. <laughs> dude, how how sick of a kid would I have to be for my failure plan to be way cooler? Yeah, man, I almost that was had making it. me laugh so hard. So you're, oh, you're gonna just toss the bike down? Yeah, I was gonna, I was like, and like go with it and toss it and like land on one foot, had the okay. other foot up. That's so what I called you, Nicholas Cage, brother. Must have made yeah. no fucking sense. Yeah, yeah, I thought, I thought Hell <laughs> Hell Rider or whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I, I almost cleared a oh, Ghost Rider. Almost cleared it, clipped it with my toe, mm. and like it, it was like rotational velocity. Dude, I went down so hard, and I got my hands up by my face, landed on my wrist, and it snapped immediately. Like I went Damn. home. Oh. It was the gayest hand I ever had. It was like dangling. Like oh, I, I no. went home, with, like dude, and it was like every step, it was bouncing and hurting. And if I grabbed it like that, it hurts. Like just the oh. dude, it was like there was nothing I could do. It was like you're like people, this is so good. And then like everybody was like walking with me, screaming advice at me, what to do with yeah. the. Dude, it was fucking insane. And then. uh the first, like, I went home, like, show my mom my wrist, and the first thing she said was like, "What did you do?" Hop the but mom yeah, broke yeah, I broke gay the ass wrist. Mom yeah. broke the record. Mom yes. broke the record. Yes, I did. I was like, "Dude, mom, further than anybody had ever even seen before." <laughs> <laughs> it was like, yes, yeah. So Damn. yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, I got fucked. We up. had a staircase uh, that led down to the bathroom. So I went to Catholic school in the hood. And uh, we we used the back fire escape, which was just like these concrete steps down the back of the building for most like transportation between like the classrooms and the lunchroom and the basement mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And uh, the last flight of steps was probably like 20 steps. Like it was a pretty long staircase with a mm -hmm. wooden railing going down that was bolted into the wall. And the one thing that we did was so at the bottom of these steps, you go down like 
four more steps, that's the boys' bathroom. So when it was boys' bathroom time and we had to like line up to go there, it was just dudes seeing how many steps they could clear. Oh my mm. god. Just ruining their ankles for the rest Damn, of their body. Fuck. Every kid would be limping back to class with like their ankles <laughs> stinging. <laughs> <laughs> I but you gotta play it off. Kid, you can't a, even act a, hurt. Dude, a kid did seven steps, then it was like we were off to the races. Jumping the steps was so hitting, fun hitting eleven, yeah, and then your week fun. being ruined. <laughs> yeah, I still uh, no prize either. Not even recognition that you did the most steps. It's just like whatever. Yeah, but how good does it feel when you're a little kid and you're like jumping further than you've ever like testing those kind of physical limits mm. on yourself? Yeah, I used to so be, fun. Me and my oh, boys yeah. used to jump up the steps. <laughs> Pretty yeah, sick. Yeah, see how many steps you could jump up. That's pretty tough. Maybe yeah, that's, that's a lot smarter. Maybe that's the difference. Maybe that's why black guys. Can no, we were, dude. Guys. We were hitting yeah. the bot. We were basically. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're fucking shredding ourselves. Yeah. At, at yeah, a certain we point, we were jumping we were, for a height. You were jumping for low. <laughs> we're trying yeah. to fly. You at, at a certain point, you even gave up the delusion that you were going to land on your feet, and you were just cannonballing into the bottom <laughs> of the steps and like rolling into a fire, like <laughs> a fire escape door. Dude, I used to. Cl- there was a shed because uh, I grew up as like my dad lived here, my uncle lived right here, and they had this shed that they kept like a bunch of tools and shit in there, and it was like. I was probably like higher than those li- like the top of those lights, and I, I think it was actually a lot higher than that. But I used to jump off of it. It was, it was probably like eleven feet, and I would just climb up it. Like there was like a trailer with like stuff on the top, so I climb up the stuff, get on the top of the shed, jump off, and I go, <sighs> like, you know, when your, your head rattles. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I would just do it over and over and over when I was little. I couldn't stop. I thought it was like the coolest thing yeah. in the world to jump off a of high stuff. It is still. Yeah, it's yeah. so fucking That's tight. when you land so hard and make your ribs hurt. Like, yeah, yeah. like you land oh, so man. hard and like your your ribs in the back of your neck hurt, but you like, I'm doing that shit again. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, speaking of getting knocked out by your butthole, did you ever do a fall on like concrete and you were kind of falling diagonally and your ass cheeks get spread apart by the impact <laughs> oh, of the ground? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Dude. That's the worst, bro. <laughs> That's a skateboarder's injury. Oh, That's a bad hell, skateboarder's yeah, yeah, injury. Yeah, yeah. Your legs go out from under you and it just sp- split your asshole in the corner. I of the think I've either I've seen someone did this or did it myself. Or skateboarding where like you try to do a kickflip, but the board goes upright and you land on your ass on it. I think I either I saw my friend do that or I did. I forget. That was yeah, pretty. Like, yeah, you might have. That shit sucked. I, that shit sucked. I don't know. If, I don't know if my so one of us got it really bad. I think skateboarding was invented by a sexually violent pervert. <laughs> I <think> so, <laughs> just like if I just watch this kid long enough, he's gonna do something <laughs> that'll make me bust. <laughs> he's in, he's got a, a complete like blade of the nose of a skateboard yeah, in, guys, like, in his wax, asshole. See young boys oh. just like waxing a curb, and you're like, "Puck, that's so fucking hot." <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's chubs are us. That is <laughs> gay perverts. Oh, man. Man, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I uh, told you guys this, but at the rock climbing wall when we were climbing the high wall, mm-hmm. I didn't, I didn't make it to the top once. Really? I, I barely made You're it. Scared. Up, like, between a half and a quarter. What's, what's it was the, terrifying. What I was, I was afraid to trust the equipment to like catch me. Yeah. It was like yeah. the automatic belay thing. Dude, Anthony was like up and she was like up and down, ringing bells yeah. and shit, and everybody she like had faith in the for her. She had faith in the system. <laughs> dude, it was crazy. <laughs> you would you it get was, up halfway and be like, "I'm good, guys." Dude, I start trundling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It was terrifying. And that's man. a dumb way to die. You don't want to die like yeah, that. Yeah, dude, that accidentally at a rock blow. climbing yeah. wall. Yeah, fuck out of here. Do you have a fear of heights? I used to not. Okay. Dude, I developed. I so I don't. I don't know if uh, Butler you ever talked about this. So. During the pandemic, our families went to a, a park, mm-hmm. and we were walking around, and like we were like climbing shit. So the week before that, like I had this weird vertigo, like I was just having it all week, oh, shit. and Damn. nothing happened. But like at the end of it, I was like, Ansley, I was like, I think I'm afraid of heights now. Like I'm like I'm terrified of high shit. I can Yo. feel it. I can Whoa. just feel it. And then like we went to that park like not too long after that, and um like we were climbing like climbing that fucking beam. And it wasn't even that high. And I wanted to show off my climbing skills. And I, I pulled up a little bit. And it was just like, this is fucking terrifying. No. Like, I, I was so scared. Like Sydney, I, Sydney's got laid on said scaredy cat. Yeah, That's I scary, do. Yo. I do. I, it's like, and it's, it's funny because, like, my kids are seeing me now. <laughs> ah, yeah. So it's like, I have to, like, I'm up there on the wall shaking. I'm like, I didn't used to be this way, kids. <laughs> you might have to do a Chris Hemsworth uh <laughs> Limitless, what's that? You didn't see a show on Disney Plus? Nah, my guy, my I don't fuck with that heartthrob. My guy's Jason Momoa. True. Well, he's doing a whole show now on Disney Plus where he's like, it's the dumbest fucking thing in the world. But he's like, I'm trying to learn how to conquer anxiety. So he gets like a therapist, and then starts like, <laughs> and then he starts like 
doing like Navy SEAL training where they tie him by the hands and feet and throw him in a pool. And it's like, dude. Oh, hell yeah. Bro. It'll like do that. It'll like do the weirdest shit. And then a lady will be like, now close your eyes and breathe. And she's like, now you're ready to walk across a fucking like crane 400 feet in the air in Sydney, Australia. Yeah. It just, it makes, the show makes no fucking sense. Dude, so I, this is what I think that it was. So uh, I, I used to have, I, I was up with a little kid. And uh, so this is funny. Naeem actually knows the the, the little brother of my mm. my best friend growing up. Gotcha. And uh, he was like he he was like he was a little bit retarded, <laughs> and but I listened to him right. And I was afraid of everything. So he would like if I was afraid of a dude, he would like instead of my mom, he would drag me to their house to fight him. Really? Yeah, Louis, dude. He would do this shit all the time. So anything I was afraid of, he would like force me into it. Where is he? He's in Louisiana right now. Damn, you need him. Yeah, dude. So, so that was my thing. Every time anything that would scare me, I would thrust myself into it. Mm. I'm, I, I can't be afraid of it. So that's 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 how I did everything. Then when the pandemic hit, I was like really afraid, and I didn't know what I was afraid of, and I didn't know what I had to thrust myself into. You know what I mean? And it was like te- mm. it just gave me you a lot. Thrust yourself into right wing conspiracy theories. I did. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I did. Yeah, I know. There you go. <laughs> they got me through it. That was my solution. <laughs> they got me right through it. I was like, yeah. <laughs> They are resetting the world economy. That's yeah, the, season. <laughs> the vaccine made you more docile. You're afraid, you're afraid to deviate whatsoever now. I didn't get the vaccine. No, <laughs> nah, <laughs> sounds like a vaccine. Oh. Nah, what are you oh, talking dude. about, dude? <laughs> oh no, maybe this is what happens when you get it and you're unvaccinated. But this is this is. I, listen, I, I, full disclosure, I did no, enough pussy and out and getting the vaccine, but this is before the vaccine. Oh no. <laughs> that shit's oh, only yeah. off the top. Oh, That's the only yeah, thing yeah, off the is, table for yeah, Sid is talking about that. I don't know, man. It said that was a tough time. It was a very tough time for me. That was Everyone was bugging that, out like, every day, crying about it. <laughs> I told you, I said, "Don't get it, man. Don't do it, bro." Yeah, I didn't want to. I think it's fine. I don't know. I think I think there was like yeah. a thousand people who just exploded afterwards. But <laughs> I think everyone... <laughs> that's the size of it. Like, would well, you wait? Yeah. Would you take it if it took if it restored your ability to handle heights? No, I'm a, I'm gonna get it back. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get it back. What's your plan? I'm gonna go back to that. You're gonna stand on a chair. Doctor Fauci has like this jar with this like glowing ethereal energy in it. It's like your like comfortability. (laughs) (laughs) He just sitting there going, he just goes. (sighs) Yeah, him and the council of big dick weirdos, just warming their hands on your masculine energy that allows you to go high. (laughs) At any given time, we know exactly which altitudes he's under. (laughs) We can. Use that to triangulate. Yeah, dude, yeah. you're fucked. Yeah. But that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try. I, I feel like there's other fears that have to be involved, so I'm gonna triangulate those. I'm gonna start with a smaller one, mm-hmm. crush that, yeah, and mm-hmm. then work my way back up to the heights. Because there's, there's got to be something else that I'm like, I just, I just haven't it activated def- it yet. Yeah, it definitely involves the rock climbing guy that you argued with. Very Freudian. Dude, there might be something in your well, subconscious yeah. that put me back on top of the world. Yeah. There is something in your subconscious that are you, triggered, dude. I, you know what happened yeah. is when that guy yelled at Sid's kids. Sid went back to his child brain and imagined himself being completely dominated by this guy, and now psychically he's stuck there. He's banging Ooh, on a window in his yeah. childhood home saying, this guy won't let me fucking climb. Yeah, actually, and now his knees are shaking. <laughs> so that he, was he was No, he was, he, yeah, he was after yeah. my humiliating experience. He's your jailer. And I felt like it was like when I went back at him when I could have let it go, I think I was like making up for my fucking... I, know. I think that was to you. be fair. That guy kind of deserved. That guy was being ridiculous. That he was did. you getting yeah. into his celestial Tupperware container and him putting the lid on it. It is funny to think <laughs> now, about you. And now I'm listening to the story. Sid was on like the very first <laughs> yeah. ride. Like, yeah, <laughs> fuck <laughs> you. yeah, fuck you, <laughs> pussy. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, why do you just want to go? <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I said, "We said, why are you just walk away?" He still has one foot. On the ground. <laughs> I, for the record, I did top that boulder. I that boulder. But, but here's what I didn't do. You fucking go yell your own kids. So this is this is my first step to dealing with my fear of height. Instead of uh, instead of climbing back down a little bit to drop, I dropped from the top, which was a little fucking. It's enough, you're it was yeah, a little unnerving. Did did you make any kind of sound like? Ugh! 
<laughs> Mate, what sound, what sound did Tim just ask me for me? <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna catch me, bro. Played, uh, uh, played. Uh, wow. You thought he was lacking in there? He's not lacking. He's in the tomb, dude. His senses are heightened. I know where that camera at. I know exactly where that camera at. Show him. Tell him you, show him the camera. Cross your eyes and stick your tongue out. <laughs> Give go. him a little bit of Naheem Gal. <laughs> Can we get an eye roll, please? Can we get an eye roll? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all could definitely start a uh, OnlyFans. <laughs> no way, dude. They just fucking <laughs> get a couple of hoes to come in here, bro. Dude, don't get Mr. Uh, Tate got Mr. Tate got. Yeah, let's crushed. let's be Andrew Tate Jr. You know what I'm saying? No way. <laughs> no, He's I'm in good. Trouble. He's in big trouble. Mm. I mean, we can pay him. That's what he said live on his own cameras, and he was just incriminating stuff. Stop, Naeem. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, actually pay them. I thought you said he said he's gonna pay the authorities off on camera. No, and they, had it, and they got sent to those very authorities and had to be like, "Oh, I'm just kidding." <laughs> yeah. Also, dude, when I was when I was leaving the rock climbing wall, uh, this dude, shout out Ethan, by the way, this dude stopped me and was like, "Sydney, really?" And I was like, "Yeah," and he was like, "Love the podcast." Whoa, beautiful. Nice. Yeah, and I was like, "Thank you," and then immediately was like, "What the fuck did he see?" Was he watching you on the boulder going like, talk about a stoner, dad? You know what I mean? Like, uh, did he see me on the boulder or did he see me on the wall? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That was like, see you that's shaking all I thought your about boots? all night. You're probably being hard on yourself about the wall. Mm-mm. How high up no did you way. get? It was how, how high was this wall? Uh, I could have, in, in my athletic days, with one kick off the wall, right. I could have jumped up and touched my own foot. No Uncle Rico. And how tall was the wall? <laughs> <laughs> how tall was the wall? The wall is 58 feet total. You're treating your comfort zone. The wall is 58 feet total. T- damn, that's fucking high. It's high. But I think I was probably up maybe... But they have you in that diaper with the ropes, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think I probably made it all like 15 feet. What? Ooh. Yes. 15 feet? Dude, it was Not bad. Not even a third of the Bro, way. You it was bad. <laughs> What would you have to tell your rope? Like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. My calves are tired. No, you just no, fall I off just, and it catches you. You just fall off, but like in a moment, you're weightless. So my whole issue was like, Ooh. I was afraid to climb up to the point where the if the machine failed, I would get injured. Would you ever go skydiving? Uh, no. I miss I'm my, the I miss same way with skydiving, man. I'm, I'm, I'm cool on that. Everyone's like, you got to do it. I'm like, I don't have any desire to jump out of a fucking place. Like, it's so fun. Like, I get yeah. it, but I like, no thanks. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not like crippled by heights. I've like worked along like about with high stuff too. It's like it is scary. I'm scared when I'm up there, but it's not like debilitating. Mm-hmm. But like, dude, and jumping out of an airplane, I'm like, I'm fu- I'm good. I don't want to do. Yeah, that. Ansley wanted to do that for a long time, and her dad was a paratrooper. Yeah, my dad was a paratrooper. So like, when Ansley, anytime she would like, we would go visit my dad. They start talking about jumping out of airplanes and shit. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, shut the fuck shut up. Fuck up. We both did it. Of you. I think me and my sister. You're both did it. fucking like, this up for me. <laughs> We might have done it on like a Groupon, which seems like a we did we did it on a Groupon at a place that has at least like a death every year. Mm. So looking back, it was probably not worth the risk. And then when we were standing in line to like do it, I was just like, oh, I guess I don't care about this that much. How was it? Yeah, everyone's like, it was, it was awesome. You, it was you know awesome. what's you know what's crazy about that stat? Was it death every yeah. year? That could also technically be one slip up every year, like one tiny slip up every year. Yeah, and you That's are dead. Enough. Yeah, right. Yeah, I think a lot of it comes down to improper packing of the parachutes, I think. I could just be making that up. That's like a big deal how you pack. I feel like it's more art than science. They're probably trying to show you how to do like cool moves and poses. That's where we need to put our Asians. Or is I, maybe our it's wayward the wayward Asians. True. Yeah. <laughs> maybe it's the guys that are doing like snowboard tricks in the air. Yeah. I don't know. but I Like I, that's unnecessary. I'm just, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. There's no part of me. Brittany's like, it's amazing. It's awesome. I'm like, I bet it is. It is. Like, I'm it, cool, man. I'd say it's definitely a couple of steps above re- renting a wave runner, <laughs> which is fun. Which is fun. Yeah. yeah, which is fun. But even that, even after forty minutes of that, I'm like, all right, you know, exactly. I've ramped a couple waves. I've almost killed myself three times. That threw, was awesome. Threw my wife off the back. Mm. Me and Brittany <sighs> fell. She was so mad, dude. Yeah, she was so mad. She Were was like, like why did you? Why do you think we rented this? That was the whole point. Toss her off. <laughs> yeah. Well, my my <laughs> my friend surprised me with them. Wes, Wes yeah. surprised me uh, with, oh, with wave runners, and she was like, "I don't want to do that." I'm like, "Come on, man, just get on." It's a very West move. It was surprising sick. you with weight runners. Weight yeah. runners. it was <laughs> very. If you're not hitting a wave, your wife can't handle you. Ain't trying. True. But now we actually <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't running. She was spazzing because I was hitting the waves, and then I was like, "All right, fine, we'll chill." And as soon as we stopped, a wave hit us, and we fell over. Mm-hmm. Glory to God, and we fell. Next to the sea lions, where the sea lions are sharks, so it was kind of like mm. we're in the Ooh, Pacific Ocean, man. brother. We're, we're in the chum. Chum. You're we're chumming the, it up. We're in the Pacific Ocean. 
That was sick. I do. I, at least I got that. We were like out far, and I we fell off, and I like got her back on it, and then got on instinctively. Obviously, I didn't leave. It. We were in like deep white blue. savior complex. <laughs> Well, you never know. You, you're uh, deep. Do you, you ever get uncomfortable <laughs> deep in the ocean if you're swimming in it? It's scary as dude, fuck. I get uncomfortable shallow in the ocean. What are you talking about? That's what I'm about? saying, bro. I was deep blue sea. Yeah. I would LL would have got munched out where I was. I was deep. I was in a life vest just swimming. I just fucking put the babe back on it. I said, babe, get on there. Uh, that's pretty It's pretty heroic. Had, I mean, I, I don't think it was more of a self preservation thing in a way, though. Yeah. I feel like the, you know, if I had got back on, it would it would have been. I got a goofy white bitch that would try to start swimming around and like backstroking, like it's okay. You should have started attracting sharks and shit. I'm trill enough where I'm scared. I'm trill enough where I'm scared of the deep ocean, dude. I get in yeah. the deep ocean, I'm like, let me get the fuck out of here. Have you ever gone swimming in a deep mountain lake? No. Go so we rented a boat and took it out into the middle of this lake. Um, I forget. You get eaten by a monster. That's what a true monster. Like. That's what it yeah, feels what? like. The true monster. Like you go from being able to see everything along like the lake shore. And then you like rent like a little paddle boat and you paddle out to the middle and you just get out of the boat and float and you like you know that this is like just an abyss straight downward. Mm. It's so what? cool. Yo. So cool. And it's like kind of chilly. That's my favorite shit. Oh, that's kinda nice. Yeah, like Lost Lake and stuff like that in the in the Northwest. Damn. That's one of my bro. favorite things in the world. Yeah, that sounds oh. beautiful and scenic and something somewhere you go to like recharge your fucking chi. Yeah. 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 Well, now, even uh when we Seahawk in the Delaware, there's certain points where you that it's is probably 20 feet deep. Yeah, you're kind of recreating it a little and that, bit. And there's definitely creatures in there. Yeah. Are and they the, friendly? And it's spooky. <laughs> what? I yo. wouldn't think so. The yeah. one place we go. Would you be friendly pass, if you lived in the fucking if you, Schuylkill River? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we pass a They're power nice plant. <laughs> They're nice oh, if you feed them hoagies. Where? You got to yeah. feed them hoagies. <laughs> Yeah, dude, these yeah. are like... Can you, you imagine being a body of water that hears that many screaming Latino arguments every day <laughs> and not carrying some of that energy with you in your, in your wildlife fa fauna and flora? <laughs> <laughs> they do hold down the sickest po like spots for a family picnic. Mm. Uh-huh. Always on the river. They always want them. Yeah, they always... Yeah. Stay by the way. You can't walk it over... Might like a... mm. Ooh. It might be Atlanteans. It might be Atlanteans, Yo, now like, we're talking like, about wait, Latinos, there's a lot of the same letters in that. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, dude. They, they like fishing. Yep. Latlantlians. <laughs> dude. Ooh. It would have been great if you were able to present this as a serious thesis on <laughs> Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been sick. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's a... Uh... Every time, because I would be walking you my dog. Netflix documentary off of it. That'd be <laughs> so nice. Yeah, back when I cared about my dogs, I used to take them to like cool spots in the Wissahickon. And every yeah. time I'd fi think I was finding a cool spot, Latina fan. I was basically Bro. Cortez. Mm -hmm. If you I walk see... over a footbridge that's <laughs> over like a two foot creek, there's a Puerto Rican kid fishing yeah. over the edge. Uh, 100%. Of it. I was Cortez, dude. I'd come there and be like, that's a nice little spot you got there. Yeah, I feel like that. <laughs> I want my dogs to swim there. <laughs> Puerto Rican families have made me say this phrase more than once. Huh. I didn't even know there was a grill there. Yeah, <laughs> true. Mm. <laughs> true. Yeah. They are the Atlanteans. Damn. I'm missing the outside. I'm feeling cooped up this winter and it's driving Dude, me insane. It, every winter, every winter, winter goes sucks. by, I get more and more like, why the fuck don't I live somewhere hot? All this the is time? an outdoor winter. What have you guys been doing? It's been light. No, dude. I need to feel the heat of the sun on me. It's different. There's a mm. difference. It is a not, it's not a bad one. You can get out and get around, but it's like... Dude, when the first warm day comes, mm. I lay in the sun and just go, oh. Mm -hmm. I feel I sexually recharged. Yeah, Every dude, first yeah. warm day of the year, I go, oh, there it is. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Naeem, what, what sound do you make in the sun? <laughs> oh, I, I, only, I only grunt in You're... the sun. I grunt like a man. I grunt like a, <laughs> the sun comes out. As soon as the sun comes out, I do the Rick Ross. I go, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're here now, bro. Oh. Sunny out. <laughs> oh, dude, I got, I got, uh, dude, this is, this killed me. So I was sitting there. I was in a hotel this weekend. And I'm sitting there. I was in Austin. So I'm like feeling the sun come through a window. I'm listening to music in the morning. And I'm sitting there just like, I'm waiting. The elevators took forever in the hotel. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, just letting the sun hit me. And I, I may or not have been just like swaying to a song. I was completely just gone. Just like, oh my God, this is so nice. Can't wait to go outside. And I turn around 
and I see the elevator doors closing with two ladies just staring at me. And I was like, <laughs> and then I fucking freaked my way on. I opened the door. And I was like, oh, sorry, guys. They were like, we thought you were just standing. I was like, I was. I got distracted. Yeah. I got lost in my own vibe, dude. I got completely lost in my vibe. Yeah. And I had, they had to, I had to open the door and get back in with them. And I was like, my bad. They appreciated it. I explained what happened. They were like, yeah, like, we get it. You See, you let your mind get away from you, bro. Yeah, I got and, 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 and you And your mind made your body get all dramatic. You can't let that happen. Oh, God, dude, that gone. happens sometimes, bro. Sometimes <laughs> sometimes me, things are either going very well or very bad. And, yeah, you, yeah. and your body just do some dramatic shit. And you're yeah. like, this is not a movie. I can't I know. do this. <laughs> I know. I didn't realize. I was just enjoying the sunlight so much. And then the tunes kicked in. Before I knew what was happening, I was just like. You were swaying uh, back and forth. Uh, oh, did I, might, if I had a lighter, dude, I would have fucking... Uh, <laughs> I was just sitting, standing in front of an elevator with two old ladies in heaven. I was just like... Bah, 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 boom, bam, boom, Please check out the chill oh, sorry, I, was, yeah, you gotta, I mean, they will. They're, I was just they're lost here, in the moment there. We're on the Patreon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. They they already yeah. checked. They already <laughs> sold through the fucking chill sesh. But yeah, man, dude, it was it was I was like, damn, I haven't I haven't let my guard down that hard in a long time. That's exactly what happened. I completely <laughs> let my guard down yeah. and enjoying the sunlight. And I was like, I'm just gonna be me for like ten seconds and freaked out two people. I was like, all right, I gotta <laughs> just tighten up the ship again. Uh, people, I think people embrace that a little bit. People enjoy that. They kind of did. I mean, to be fair, I was getting on as yeah. an elevator with yeah, like some people, two, some people. It was did. two younger ladies and one of them was wrapped all the way up in a blanket. Yeah, for some I reason. So I was like, all right, these guys are fucking weird. We all do, but we also might have a fear that we might become one of those people too. So we try to hold it up. We, we put it at bay a little bit. I mean, you ever mm-hmm. seen someone on the subway who's like not fucked up or like cracked out, but like sitting there like full? I've seen like ladies do this and just fully dance on a subway to yeah. a song or just complete, complete abandon. I'm always kind of like, that's kind of sick. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Seen, or yeah. you know what? When I'm when I'm uh, downtown, I see a lot of uh, a lot of white people just walking down the street smiling. And I always be looking like, fuck, is you smart? Like, relax. You see what I'm saying? All right, you could be happy, but you don't got to just be cheesing. I mean, it could be listening to a cast, dude. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> no <laughs> earphones at all. They're just smiling. No, yeah. yeah, this, yeah this, Miami, this, Miami, there's no earphones. Smiles. There's no earphones. This like, yo, listen, I, you can be happy in life, but just don't show it, dog. Just be the same. You telling people where, when, where to be happy? Yeah, yo, just fucking keep it to yourself. I think of stuff every now and again. I make myself chill. Unless you with your homies. If you by yourself walking down the street, why are you cheesing, bro? If you with your homies, sometimes cheese away. I'll, sometimes I'll get hit by a moment of acute gratitude. And just start cheesing while yeah, you walk. Dude, I'll, I'll get you, fucked I, up I, for I sure. I tell you what's been tickling me while I've been walking around lately. What? I just found out recently that... Uh, my Michael. neighbor's kid. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's stupid stuff. That's yeah, pretty good. Michael Jordan's son is fucking Scottie Pippen's ex-wife. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's pretty nice. That tickles mm. me. I enjoy that. There you go. <laughs> Pippen's ex-wife. Yeah. Who is Pippen's ex-wife? I have no clue. Okay. But Fu- the fact Future that she... used to fuck her, too. That's what I thought. Yeah, I, th- yeah. I thought someone mm-hmm. was fucking... If Damn. All, you know, of all the people that she'd be getting fucked by... Like Michael Jordan's Jordan. son, I didn't even think about it that's like that. Hilarious. Yeah, that's crazy. His son is fucking fully <laughs> sucked the tongue out, dude. Uh, yeah. Damn, that's pretty funny. Yeah, that's funny. That's nice. Mm-hmm. That makes me smile. It's what not if like, he finally yeah. came at peace with the whole thing and was just like, "Look, I played my role in the Bulls. Yeah, I wasn't Michael Jordan." And all of a sudden, he was like, "Wait, what the? F- my son fucked my wife? God <laughs> damn it, ex-wife." Damn. You, know be, uh, you know, it'd be a great move, uh, social equity wise. We gotta set up Michael Jordan's son with Wayne Gretzky's daughter. Ooh, she's supposed to be a piece, I think. Really, I don't remember. There you go. Yeah, how does that how does that work out social equity equity wise? That's like the marrying of two great houses. Ooh, yeah. Okay, for the benefit, for the benefit of all the land. Treat yeah, right, right. Okay, you're creating uh, racial and uh, athletic royalty for sure. I think that'd be the first biracial child that I support. <laughs> That's the chosen one. <laughs> the kid would have to play hockey. No way could the, the kid could play uh, basketball. You think that kid's gonna be jumping down his whole life? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if for if, sure, Jordan's lineage though. His son. He might sucked. be the first one to get air in hockey. His son sucked at basketball. His son's a bad at basketball. Yeah. His yeah. Dad yeah which one would he revolutionize? Would he do hockey moves in basketball, or would he do basketball moves in hockey? Basketball moves in hockey. He'd be jumping. I think that sells better right now for sure. When yeah. we write this. 
I'd be terrible. If you're Michael Jordan's son, you'd be probably terrible. He's he was probably dunking on Dude, his three-year-old kid. Dude, who invented dunking in hockey? Mm. That would be nasty. Ooh. Like jump. <coughs> <coughs> Just jumping with a twist and taking it all the way into the net. What is what is the free throw line in hockey? In penalty shot. Yeah, pretty much. I could be the first person to dunk from the free throw line. Pretty much. Oh, you, you got to carry the puck on the stick. I just want to yeah. see him jump. I just want to see him jump on the ice. Triple but we're axle. also we're getting in triple axles and shit. You're also getting triple, axle. triple axle, smack it in. Some ice belt. Like. On behind the back passing. They nice. should put like a Russian 12-year-old on the ice for uh, like an NHL game and let like one person see if they can try to catch them. This <laughs> 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 is a, a fucking bonus game. Yeah, it's a bonus game. <laughs> <It's time. laughs> uh-huh. Dude, we did it. Yeah. We did it again. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. We're in an hour. Wow. Yeah. That is some crazy yeah. imagery to end on. I <laughs> right. I love it. Naeem, thank you, dude. Nah, thank you guys. This was relaxing and weird. <laughs> 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 I'm always jealous. I want to be in the tomb so bad. I know. It's nice. Uh, it's so comfortable. Yeah. I do feel like, uh, like a medieval, like... Um, guard for something where it's like I must never partake but I will defend this with my life yeah true <laughs> I'll never know it's sweet slender slender slumber slumber yeah nope mm. slumber Mm-mm. slender no nope oh I don't know but I'll never know it nope. I'll never know it so I'll never I'll never be graced by the experience however dude I will here and now give you my life it's true. the luxury only for the chosen few mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> all right bros Bye. Bye.